Hi, good day to all. Today's lesson, we are going to cover a couple of topics on settings, on levels, on grids, on temporary dimensions, on columns and walls. On this first topic here on settings, open up this file, settings.rbt file. and within which we can proceed to manage project information under manage tab and project information now within which here we can begin to add information along this portion here under other so we will key in from here on 13th, for example, 13th of July 21.5 and we put in, for example, the project status as tender stage and the client's name we will put in SP Design School And project name, for example, we'll put in proposed interior of design studio. Okay, SD505, for example. And then here we will put in, um, say, the year 215, project number 2. At that and then for the project address we will put in 500 to over road okay. design school building and then Singapore 139651 okay and then we click this and okay now you will probably notice that nothing has happened except for the information being entered at this point here along this area <coughs> however this information will be propagated down to the subsequent title sheets that we may add later on open this view up and take a look at it for example so if we now begin to zoom in closer here to the title block you find that this 2015-02 on project reference number has appeared on the title block and the owner, land owner and developer portion under SP Design School has also appeared here and the project description proposed interior design of um, proposed interior of Design School SD505 has also appeared here so all this critical information once entered will remain and it can be propagated down to all the sheets so that we do not need to keep repeating and re-entering and it also eliminates the, in the uh, possible human errors so therefore um, for example now if we were to create another new sheet here let's say I'm going to create a new A1 title block sheet so all I need to do is after I create a new one you will begin to notice that these information entered just now we do not need to key in all this information once more so all these things has okay all the information we have entered just now will be propagated down to all the new sheets okay this is how under manage project information by entering here at this portion becomes really useful so all this information can be then spread to these areas here here and also here some of these regions at that 